Yeah. All right, here we go. Go for it. It's all part of the process here. Oh, it's okay. It's part of the process. Got to get it right. So basically, what the driver's doing here is uh, he's kind of straining out the pallet with the assistance of this other forklift, just to make sure that the unit is flush on the pallet. So what Ricky is doing here with the small forklift is adjusting the pallet accordingly so when the big forklift uh, brings on the unit it is more or less uh, in line with the pallet so that's what he's doing and that's what he just did right there so just a minor adjustment All right. so once the unit is to where the uh, pallet is as far as uh, being aligned. They're gonna use these blocks right here to put them inside those gaps. And basically that will, that will be like almost like, uh, like little mini stands that will be used to keep the unit up. And that is to prevent, or that is to give it enough gap for the forks of the pallet to go out and that's what these boxes will be used for you'll see them right now still minor adjustments we made so here's ricky getting those blocks where are you putting them at more or less uh ricky boy uh right at the third uh Screw, no. screw, uh huh. Right underneath that. Okay, cool. Same thing with this one on the third screw, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I have in the edge. edge. Like almost in the middle. More or less in the middle. To make sure that screw hits the middle of this block right here, more or less. So you got two right there. And we'll go and do the same thing on the other side. So he's looking for the third screw from the edge. And he'll place it more or less to where the screw will hit the bottom, the middle of the block. So there you go. There's this little mini stance. There'll be minor adjustments made as well. And that's what they'll be doing.
What are you looking for here, uh, Ricky? To have enough gap so they don't hit the buttons. Okay. Cool. Adjust them. So there's gonna be minor adjustments being made until the, he feel he feels free that the unit is like right where it needs to be for it to be set down. I drop it! Forward. Up! What are you looking for right there, Ricky? Uh, no. So the fork doesn't hit the unit? Forward. Basically, the forks need to get clear now. Up! Oh, back it up. As of right now, the unit is on the blocks. The forklift driver will now back out, Straight. making sure he doesn't scratch the bottom skins. As you can see, he has a nice gap going. And Ricky will uh, spot him up and let him know how he's doing as far as getting out. Up. So far, doing pretty good. Up. Right there. And as you can see, the blocks are doing their job as far as leaving that gap. And he's out. So right now, the unit is, has that gap. It's time to raise it up and up, set up, it up. on the pallet. See that gap, the blocks are doing their job right now. So basically, when he picks up the pallet, it will basically set the uh, unit on the pallet. And you'll see that right now. See that gap going on right there with the blocks. Same thing on the other side. All right, lift it up. So he's really lifting. You'll see how it goes up. The blocks will now get removed and the pallet is now on the unit. We'll do the same thing, remove these blocks out of the way. Sometimes they do get stuck, but it's just a matter of just using a little bit of force to get them out. There it is. So now the blocks are clear. The unit is now on the pallet. That's it. And the forklift driver will now drop it and there you go. Unit is now on the pallet. Good job, boys.